Libra, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing your finance and career reading for the month of September. Okay, and these are general readings, so cannot resonate with every uh, Libra out there in the world. So if it does not resonate with you, please check your moon rising Jupiter or Venus. Okay, all right. So let's see what is happening with my Librans in their finance and career. Now, this is only and strictly about your finance and career. Nothing to do with love, nothing to do with general, okay? All right, so Libras, what is your current situation right now? What is Libra going through right now? The moon, okay. And what are the challenges? What are the challenges for Libra? What are the challenges? Eight of Fire and the King of Fire. Okay. So speed is a challenge here. What is the solution? What is the solution? Six of Water and Nine of Fire. Okay. And the outcome. What is the outcome for Libra? Three of Earth, beautiful Libra, beautiful, okay? I'll tell you why. Okay, as we go first, what is happening with you right now? How you start the month of September is firstly, the moon is here. So when the moon is here, this means intuition, okay? Or events that are working behind the scenes, so there could be some things, those are happening for you, which are being planned for you, maybe at your workplace. Maybe somebody is planning to give you a promotion this month or a, ri a rise this month or something for the long term. Maybe is planning to give you some responsibilities, added responsibilities. But because it's a new moon, you will not know about it as the month starts. Okay? So... But as it ends, I feel you're going to get the news. But something is cooking. Yes, something is cooking, but that is cooking for good and behind your back. Okay? This could also mean, the moon could also mean fears. You could be having some fears, doubts about yourself at workplace. You know, sometimes when we don't know and we <clears throat> don't know what my what your boss or what your colleagues or what your partner in business is thinking about you, you all, it's human nature to always think of the bad things or all the worst. So moon is that. Moon actually uh, works on our fears, on our emotions. So, you know, this also means that you, because the moon is there at the beginning of the month, this could mean that this is the time you need to just release all fears. Nothing bad is happening, okay? Release the fears that you have regarding your work. Because there is something, you can feel it. And you because you're feeling it, you're feeling all the worst case scenarios. Maybe your boss is smiling at you or not completely looking at you. Maybe it's appraisal time. And you're, you're expecting all the worst. Don't worry, because... What I see is something good coming towards you by the end of this month. This month is going to be very good for you. Okay? It is going to be an abundant month, but it's just that your fears are holding you back. Or you're feeling that panic for no reason. There could be increased work pressure, but all that is happening for your good. So something is cooking behind your back. Okay? The problem here is... King of Fire and the Eight of Fire. So it is about energy level. So firstly, with the King of Fire, this means focus. So your focus is a challenge this month. Maybe you are not, you're trying to focus, but every time you're trying to focus, your attention is going somewhere else. Every time you want to focus on work, something else comes up or you get lost in your thoughts because the moon is here. Okay, or this could also mean somebody creative, somebody who is senior in your workplace, who could be, because the king is here, so somebody who knows, very professional, 
it's giving you some good work advice but it just it's just not registering yet in your mind okay this is about communicating at workplace but with that leadership quality which you somehow feel that you're not able to get it you're trying but you're not able to be the leader or you're not able to communicate effectively you're thinking of something you're trying to communicate because you have a long term vision you know this is how the things will work or should work but somehow when it comes when the words come out of your mind of your mouth it doesn't sound that good as it was when you were thinking about it so focus focus is very important secondly air of fire so this is again things moving fast delays getting over or things happening a lot of movement but those are the challenges those are not happening or they have started to happen and you are getting overwhelmed with them because suddenly you see a lot of work pressure on you suddenly you see people started to depend on you more suddenly you see people interacting with you your work pressure and you know your boss is expecting more from you and all that could be leaving you very overwhelmed or you are stuck in a situation where there's no movement it can be either ways okay there could be no movement you could be feeling like stuck in a limbo you don't know what to do because you want more responsibilities but you want those responsibilities to be named or this could also mean a lot of work pressure so you're not able to be the leader and focus and come with a solution whereas you see certain people at workplace who do it very effectively they're balancing their work they're balancing their home life they're balancing their money everything very smoothly but when it comes to you you are kind of juggling you are like the new juggler with eight balls you're trying to juggle you don't know how to do it but you want to learn you want to do it but you're not able to do it maybe you you're finding it a bit overwhelming that this work pressure but remember this work pressure on you is for some even that is coming up to a coming up towards you by the end of the month and you will know about it you might be getting this feeling that something is happening why am i suddenly given so much of responsibility why am i given this controversial customer why am i given this tough thing at work something is happening you're feeling that but you're not able to pinpoint on that okay so what is your solution your solution first is the nine of fire this is like the nine of wands so don't give up and this nine of wands i very clearly remember had come for your general reading also i specifically remember this nine of wands because this came only and only for libra reading this has come in your finance and career reading also so do not give up whatever you have created whatever efforts you have put in so far stick to them have the strength and believe in yourself this is exactly the message that was in your general reading also i remember it very correctly and this is the same message that has come for your finance and career reading so this means all that problem or whatever challenges you are facing worse mostly to do with work or workplace do not give up on your ideas do not give up on your beliefs this is a test of your belief okay this is a test of your patience this is a test of time as to how you can manage time how you can be happy yet juggle two three problems at the same time because if somebody or your boss or your organization is planning the next level the promotion for you before that they got it they will test you they will see whether you can handle so much of pressure looking at your boss and thinking oh he's the ceo he's having fun he has a seven figure salary he has a car he has a bungalow he has a farmhouse he has golf club memberships those sound very lucrative but 
Look at the pressure and the price he is paying for it. He is responsible to bring revenue on the table at the end of the month, which pays your pay. So are you capable enough to take that responsibility? Do you understand that responsibility? This is the test of time. So you have to stand up for your beliefs and stick to them and have the courage to face these challenges. You cannot give up because if you give up, then this, this will be gone. The idea that was here, which you could feel, will be gone. They will, they will select somebody else then. And secondly, you have the six of water. So this means memories from your childhood. This means romanticizing about something, some good old days which you had, maybe in your earlier days of your career. So yeah, this as a solution could mean that you could be connecting with somebody from your past, past organization, past friends, colleagues who have grown much in life today. They can give you a good advice. You could be connecting with them. They could tell you what, how they did it. Or this could also mean you thinking or uh, thinking of how far you've come from where you started. Think of your first day at your job. Think of the first day of your shop. Think of the first day at the firm where you are, you could be in a legal or chart, you know, a finance profession. So think of the first day, what a novice you were. You didn't know between difference between files and look at how far you've come today. So be happy about it. So if you can come this far, you can go even further. Think about those things. That is what the Six of Cups is telling you or the Six of Water is telling you. Think about your past experiences, past life, past job, past things and see where you stand today. So you will, if you could stand up to your beliefs, you had faith in yourself, so you have come this far. So now you have the faith and you can go even further. If you can do that, Libra, what is coming towards you at the end of the month is the three of earth. So this means the power of creativity. This is recognition for high quality work. And this is being the team player. So there could be some important team formed up where you could have an important role or you could be given the team leader position. You could be given the manager position. As I said, this means a team under you or a very Winning team with you. You could be a part of the winning team. You could be some Librans. You could be winning an award of the best team player this month. But this means appreciation or recognition for high quality work. So all this work with this eight of fire and all this work with this king of fire who is kind of pushing you to overperform is all because they're testing you because this is what they have in plan for you. Okay. So Librans, don't give up. Stick to your beliefs, stick to your thoughts. Okay, because you're going to do it, you're going to find yourself in a much better, in a very lucrative position by the end of September or as October begins, as Libra season begins. Okay, so this work pressure is to test you and not to fire you. Okay, when it comes to your work and career. So don't get, you know, don't feel low because of that. You could be feeling a low of in energy because right now the sun will be in your 12th house. So 12th house is a house of losses. So low key energy, you would want to sleep more. But that's just temporary. Let the sun go into Libra and the full moon, the new moon happen. Let the moon move to Libra by the end of the month. Uh, you're going to feel much better. Okay, so one message for Librans. We need to know. Yes. Travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. So you could be traveling. Traveling need not mean, for some Librans, yes, it does mean travel, travel. But for the others, this means travel. I mean, a going a notch higher than where you are. Moving. Travel means movement. Okay. So this could also mean going a level higher 
than where you are. So this means, again, a promotion. Or for some of you, you could be actually traveling. You could be sent out for your first international tour. You could be sent out for, you know, with a bigger role. You could be made a regional head or a zonal head. And you could be visiting other offices. That kind of travel. Or this could mean moving up from where you are to a higher position or moving out to a better designation in a better organization. Okay. All right, Libra. So this was your finance and career reading for the month of September. I'll see you with your love readings in a few days. Till then, bye.